I'm Leanne Thomas and today I'm going to share with you a card game that I invented called Kingdoms and it has to do with teaching your students about the five main kingdoms of living things. The deck consists of cards from each of the main kingdoms, the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom, the fungi kingdom, protist, and monera. The game is played much like Rummy. The students will be dealt seven cards each and they will be uh, trying to get three cards from one kingdom and four cards from another kingdom. Uh, each kingdom has 12 cards and the cards are uh, have different organisms on them. So for example, a winning hand uh, would be fungi, a mushroom, a yeast, a mold, and a mildew. And you'll notice that the kingdom is on the bottom of each of those cards. And so that would be four of one kingdom and three of another kingdom. Here's bush from the plant kingdom. Here's a flower from the plant kingdom. And here's grass from the plant kingdom. So if the student got these four and these three cards, they would be the winner. So let me show you how this plays in action. You start out by dealing seven cards to each person. You can see this is very easy to play. There's no setup required. It's very easy to learn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Each person can then take a look at their cards and decide sort of in their head what they think they're going to be collecting. So for example, I'm going to look at mine. I'm going to sort them by kingdom. And as the students get better at this, they'll be able to do it without looking at what's on the bottom. Uh, the kingdoms are listed on the bottom, but I put them on the bottom so that as you're looking at the cards from the top, you're actually looking at the organism and you're doing a sort. You're sorting these into different kingdoms. But yet, the information is on the bottom if they need to refer to that to double check what they thought went together. So I have two protists and two animal and two fungi and one monera. So I'm going to be collecting uh, either the protist or the animal or the fungi. And so I don't need plant. So I'm going to pick from this pile. And I have a plant, which I don't want. I pick a card and then I discard a card. I'm going to discard my monera, my salmonella. And it helps if the people read the card as they put it down. That helps to reinforce what it is that they're playing salmonella bacteria found in reptiles from the Monera Kingdom. The next player has also sorted theirs. Uh, this person has got three fungi and one plant, one Monera, one animal, and one protist. They could use this Monera so they can pick this one up, pick up the Monera, and put down something that they don't think they're going to need, and that's a plant kingdom, for example. And play continues in this manner until someone has three of one kingdom and four of another kingdom, and then they are the winner. As you can see, it's very easy to play. Um, it can be played in a very short period of time, and the, the kids just love it. Uh, there's pictures showing on each card, and as I said, the kingdom is on the bottom, so it's very easy to sort. If you'd like to purchase this deck, please go to my website, www.thomasleanne.com. I've invented five different games, Rock On, the Rock Cycle Card Game, States of Matter, Silence, Who's Got the Bones, and this game, Kingdoms. Thank you.